Hi there, Diesel Johnny Boy here. Um, as you know, I'm quite interested in hydraulic ram pumps and I've put together this little video on how to construct a, a one and a half inch ram pump. Now this is the biggest pump that I've constructed. And this one, if you've got a quite a good flow of water, could deliver quite a good bit of water to your, to your tank or, or wherever you want to pump the water to. Um, this, this particular model is made out of predominantly polypropylene fittings apart from the brass swing check valve and uh, a few bits of metal bits on there but most of it is like that plastic fittings. Now to build this pump I'm going to tell you exactly what parts you need. Now the company that supplied these parts is called T-Mex, T-Mex Express. They're a pretty good company and very good in fact and they'll um, supply all your parts you need it for your round pump. So yeah, you can go on Google them and you'll find their website www.tmex.co.uk So take a look at that if you want to construct this pump. Now I'll just go over the component parts that you'll require for this pump. So firstly, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five equal nipples, one and a half inch. Um, you're going to need a couple of T's, one and a half inch T's. Put those out the You're going to need a one and a half inch brass swing check valve. We're going to use this as our impetus valve. So that's, you need one of those. You're going to need a single one and a half inch elbow. You're going to need a one and a half inch ball check valve. This is for switching your pump on and off. And you're going to need a little half inch one, this is for your output, one of those. You're going to need a couple of these which are like, these are hose adapters. This one is a one and a quarter to 25 millimetre. This one here is a half inch to 13 millimetre. So that's one inch of those. We're going to need one of these which is called a, um, it's like a reducing nipple, this is a that's one and a half inch to half inch, that's for that to go on to there, so we want one of those. Then we need a couple of reducing bushes. That one takes you down from, I think that one, that one takes you down from one and a half inch to one inch. That's going to accept your compression fittings. You need a one inch to 25 mil compression fitting, one of these. Or if you want to use your drive pipe 32 mil, you can have this in 32 mil. I'm using a 25 mil drive pipe for this pump, so this is a 25 mil one. So what? And so yep, that's your bushes. Oh, what was this one? This was a. Um, oh no, that was the other one. This is the one and a half to one and a quarter. That's to accept that. No, that's not for that, is it? Anyway, we'll see. If that's that's more. That's what you want. Um, now we're going to construct this pump. And we'll, we'll Ball pump. Ball. Oh, haha. <laughs> And just remind me, well, those important bits, sorry about that, is this, the non-return valve. This is a very important part. This is uh, quite, this is the most expensive part actually, this costs about £25, but it's quite a heavy duty item. This is your non-return valve, and it employs a ball basically, this like a plastic ball, it's quite heavy. That sits in there, there's like four guides here. This is quite a good design, really. there's no springs in here, so it's a, it's a really good design, I, I think. A lot of ram pumps I've seen use like springs and things, and they can go rusty and wear out. So that sits in there like that. That goes there. There's like a rubber seal there. These are all like you can get the new parts for these. So it's a fully serviceable item. So that's really important. Yeah, the non-return valve. Okay, so let's put this pump together then. Now, First thing we'll start off with our T and then we'll, we'll put one of our equal nipples in, that's not the right one because that's our snifter valve. We'll put that in there like that. I'll go over the snifter valve in a minute with you. So yeah, I'll just turn it back in. That goes on there. Like that. And actually now I'll screw that on the wrong place. This little baby goes on here, that's for our impetus valve. So, oh, by the way, you, you should use PTFE tape on all these things. I'm just screwing these up roughly just to show you. I was going to be here all day. 
There's our swing check valve. Now you've got to have this with the arrow facing upwards on this for this particular for this particular way we're using it. You can look on one of my other videos and give you a better explanation of this, but this is going to be our impetus valve. So that's, that's going to screw on there like that. As I say, you can put these on later on with some PTFE tape because you must have this thing watertight, no air leaks. Um, and we've got another equal nipple going on here. Now we take the elbow, that goes on there like that. Screw that on. There we go, it goes on there. Now we come to one of the most important parts for your round pump. This is what we call as the snifter valve. This is just your one and a half inch equal nipple bark. Can you see this? Okay. Coming a bit close. This is a tiny little drilled hole in here, like one and a half millimetres. And in there I've put like a stainless steel split pin. Can you, is that sharp all right on there? Now this is to suck in a little bit of air on each of the strokes. Because well, I'll tell you exactly why we have to do that in a minute as we carry on with the pump. It's just a little, little drilled hole there with a the little fine pin put through. That is very important for your pump to run properly. So anyway, there we go. We screw that on here. Goes on your elbow. Now that has the, the, the snifter valve needs to always face away from your output. I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. So I'll just leave it there at the moment. Now here's our non return valve. Always make sure we've got it in the right way with the water flow Oops. pointing that way. So that's seating there. The water's going that way. So make sure your arrow there is pointing upwards because that, the ball seats down there. That prevents water flow back into the pump once it's pumped up past the ball. Screw that on there. There we go. That's on there like that. There we go. Now we need to take another equal 1.5 inch nipple. Screw that on there like that. Now we need a T. 1.5 inch T. That screws on there. So, now this is going to be our output here so here's one of our reducing nipples that screws on there like that and then we take a half inch half inch on off ball valve that's so we can turn the pump on and off that screws on there like that. So, so you put all these on the PTFE tape to get them nice and airtight. This is like a little little hose adapter. That's uh, the half inch to 13 mil. This will take your ordinary half inch garden hose pipe, which you can use as your, your outlet pipe. So that just screws on there like that. Yeah, it's starting to look a bit more like a pump at the moment. Now we take another one of these reducing bushes, that's a one and a half inch to the one and a quarter, isn't it? I think that right. No, that's not the one. That's that, that's the other one, sorry. Here we are, this is the one we want, the one and a half inch to one and a quarter. So it just screws in the top up here like that. This is where our pressure vessel's going to sit. There we go, now we can get out. That's the one and a quarter to 25 mil. That screws on there like that. And now, almost there now. We're going to put that little baby on there. This is our reducing bush. That goes on there like that. Actually, if I do that, aha, that goes on there. So you won't mind those. That's your last equal nipple, one and a half inch. Cool nipple. Well, you don't have to have these on here, but I like to put them on there so you can turn the pump on and off. <coughs> now we can put our one and a half inch, our big one and a half inch ball check valve. 
is a good heavy duty construction. That screws on there like that. A lot of the ram pumps, you know, ideally a ram pump should be built out of steel fittings, but you know that's very expensive and these are the PVC pumps work pretty well really. And for the kind of money you're spending, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good bit of kit and I think it'll give many years of service and like I say replace a lot of the parts in in here and not, not too expensive. Now here's your one and a half inch to one inch reducing bit of pipe that goes in there like that. And this is where your water comes in on your pump. So there we go, there's a compression, your compression fitting, one inch to 25mm. So I'm going to be using 25mm poly pipe as my drive pipe. That just goes on there like that. I say you could use 32mm if you want to use your 32mm drive pipe. That's up to you, you can experiment. Like I say, this is sort of a bit of a suck it and see sort of thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's technology that does work. Um, so yeah. It's, it's, it does work, so you don't have any problems. Now this is this is where we're going to attach our um, our pressure vessel. Now there are a few different pressure vessels you can use for this particular pump. I can only use a water bottle. Let's grab it over here. Ideally, it should be about a two-liter water bottle, but I've only got this Schreps. Indian tonic water bottle for my demonstration today. So there's a couple of Jubilee clips up on here. So basically all you do is that sits up on there like that. And you clamp these up. This is your pressure vessel. So I'll just tell you a little bit what the pressure vessel. I haven't done this, I'm just sitting on there, but obviously you need to nip all those up. Now back to the snifter valve. The snifter valve, like you see, is down here. Here she's right there. That's it. There's your snifter valve down here, and you need to have your outlet opposite from your snifter valve. So the snifter valve is this side facing the swing chuck valve, and your outlet's facing opposite. Because if you have them too like that, the air can get transferred, and it can end up pumping air instead of water. So basically, there it is that is your ram pump. And if you if you're going to build one of these, I'd be great to hear some feedback. I'm hoping to install this one sometime this year in a stream near, nearby and I will give a, an update on, on how it's running and maybe another video. But like I say, it would be great to hear any feedback from anyone else and any, any ideas that anyone else has out there on, on the hydraulic round pops. I'm just doing this for a bit of fun really. So there we go, yeah, that's a one and a half inch hydraulic round pop. I mean you can make it out of three quarter, one inch, whatever size you want and this is, this is the basic principle. T-Max is where I got all my parts from, T-Max Express. You know, they've got their website up and running, so if you want to buy your pump parts, that's where they go. Diesel Johnny Boy signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.